the love story of you two guys is, is, is a special one. It started apparently at first date at Applebee's over like a, just a very romantic, over a plate of like mozzarella sticks and quesadillas. Uh, well done. Two for 20 apparently, yeah. And, uh, but that's evolved into what we see here today. Two very special individuals who today will become one through a profession of a lifetime commitment. There's been so much anticipation for this day and all the related festivities as everybody loves weddings. Even I love weddings. I'm not even, as you probably know, I'm not that warm and fuzzy of a guy. Uh, so when preparing for this, I, I spent some time thinking, why does everybody love weddings? And it even had me reflecting on you know, my own ceremony 23 years ago. And my conclusion was that there isn't anything that's more special than knowing for sure you found that one person that was created for you. And because you found that person, you know deep down that your life would be incomplete if you didn't spend the rest of your life with that person. To take it even further, you want to publicly profess this commitment in front of all these people that are the most special friends and family members in your lives. That's why people love weddings and are so excited to be here today to, to celebrate with you too. Beth, I never imagined that I'd be standing here with you today. You are my lover, my life partner, and most of all, my best friend. You're everything a guy looks for in a woman. Caring, loving, silly, and crazy. <laughs> We've been through good times and bad times, but my love for you has never wavered. You make me a better man each and every day. You push me to the limits that I could never imagine. I knew the moment we went to Applebee's, you were gonna be the one for me forever. Your hard work is amazing to watch, your personality is infectious, and your smile lightens up a room. You make me the happiest man in the world, when, even when I just want to chill and you make me do chores. <laughs> I love you and I couldn't imagine my life without you. As your husband, I vow to respect you, love you, care for you, protect you, and most of all, give you the middle bite to my sandwich. <laughs> I can't wait to continue to grow, laugh, and fall even more in love with you each and every day. This is my vow to you. I love you. Joe. Standing here marrying you the way I described I would the day I met you proves one thing, that our love is so powerful it will travel with us to the future as it has in the past. In five years, my love has never wavered and I promise it never will. 
I promise every conflict and tough road we have been down is worth it to call you my husband, the love of my life, and someday the father of my children. I vow to always stand by your side and trust your decisions. I vow to encourage and motivate you through every twist and turn. I vow to always be your voice of reason even when it's unwelcomed. I vow to laugh with you and never shy away from our goofy sides. I vow to keep an endless supply of ketchup at the house and always advocate for cinnamon roll sundae. <laughs> and these vows I swear, not just because I love you as my partner, but because I love you as my best friend. This day is about the two of us coming together and being the best team possible, bringing together all of our families and friends and bringing our lives together. That's why people love weddings. <laughs> so, my challenge to you two guys is that you never ever forget these promises that you've made to one another. Marriage takes a tremendous amount of work. <laughs> and Ex uh, here, here. And marriage takes an undying commitment. Whose idea was it to bring the dogs? It's <laughs> yours. <laughs> Should we take them? <laughs> Knock it off. He's just agreeing. He's agreeing with what I'm saying. Matthew 19, 6 states, On this account, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. From now on, your thoughts shall be for each other rather than your individual selves. Your plans shall be mutual. <laughs> your joys and sorrows shall be shared alike. Joe and Beth, because the two of you before God and these family and friends in attendance have made solemn vows to each other and have confirmed your commitment of loving each other through the giving and receiving of rings, by the authority given to me by the World Wide Web, <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. Joe, you may kiss your bride. Here you go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and my privilege to present to you and the world for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Joseph DiBianca. I'd like to thank all of you, whether you've come nine miles, 9,000 miles, it doesn't matter, we're, whatever, you know, however far you've traveled, we're just so glad you could all be with us tonight to celebrate Beth and Joe's wedding. It's just, uh, you know, we're so proud of this, the joining of these two together. Uh, they're just a wonderful couple. It gives me so much pleasure to welcome Joe into our family and uh, to join him as part of his family. They really are a fantastic couple. Um, you know, we just look forward to the many years that we're going to spend with them in the future. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you've got a glass, raise it to Beth and Joe DiBianca. We couldn't ask for a better daughter to be welcome into our home. But over this last couple days, we've gained a new family. And um, they've made us feel like we've always been a part of the family. And I, we want to thank you for that, truly. I'd like to bless Joe and Beth today by first saying congratulations. We, um, we love you and are so excited for you. And I found a, a, a prayer or blessing that I felt was very appropriate for today. And it goes like this. This is just the beginning of a lifetime filled of love, happiness and memories with blessings from above. May the love that brought you together remain forever in your hearts. And may the bond that you now share give you strength when you are apart. We wish you a lifetime of happiness, friendship, trust, and love, because marriage is forever when you meet that one true love. May God bless you both 
and your journey in life and know that you always have a family and friends that love you. Let's party. Get it on. Just before we sing or join enjoy Old Lang Syne, Beth wanted to do Old Lang Syne because it's a Scottish tradition. And she wanted it to do the Scottish way. So you have to watch Grandma and myself and don't cross hands. You're all doing very well, <laughs> joining hands. But <clears throat> what I did want to say why Beth wanted to do this is because Beth's mother is, of course, of Scottish parentage. She's got 100% Scottish blood in her, but she was born in England. She married an Englishman, a Sassenach, but we'll forget him for that. <laughs> and, and, of course, Beth has 50% Scottish blood in her, so it's fantastic. These is great genes. Now, just to carry on, the, the last three days have been, sorry, the last two days, three events have been fabulous for us. We really are honored, Elizabeth and I, as grandparents who have been invited to this wedding. I think this goes for all the family that have attended, probably for all the guests. It's been a marvelous two days. I think we should give a big vote of thanks to the hosts of the three days. I mean, Dale and um, Brian last night with this fabulous barbecue and all these marvelous speeches. Thank you very much, yes. Katie and Alison for the ladies do. I don't know anything about that except I know the ladies really enjoyed it. And of course, for the fabulous night tonight, Pam and Tim, I think, have hosted this. What a great, what a great day. Thank you very much.
Now I can't, I can't stand here without saying a word about the new Mr. and Mrs. De, De, De Banco, De Banco. I've got to get it right. But I mean, it is, as has been said earlier, a, a match made in heaven. I just would like to say, on behalf of us all, they are starting this journey. They're, they're leaving here shortly, but they're starting this journey in married life. And I really would like to say bon voyage, have a marvelous, enjoyable married life, happy and successful. And of course, Beth, fruitful. However, that's it. So can we give three cheers to the married couple? Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Right. Music maestro, please.